This is going to be an energy reading for Pisces. If you are Pisces, this energy reading is going to be for you, beloved. I've seen spell work exposed. It keeps landing on the top of the deck. Spell work exposed. Um, I don't know. That could be significant. Scorpio energy can be significant. I just seen spiritual attacks. That could be significant. And Pisces, I believe, came out in Scorpio's reading. So y'all might want to check that out. Okay. But let's see. I asked my higher self, the most high in the ascendant masses to help me in this intuitive reading. For Pisces, at the top of the deck, we have between the ages of 31 and 36. Someone can be between these ages. This also came out for Scorpio's read. 11, 11 is significant. There go Pisces. Right there. Okay, I'm going to take it out. This is Pisces reading. So Pisces, you may receive enlightenment okay about someone this could be someone um whose spell work is being exposed okay so let's see for pisces what does pisces need to know dark magic kitchen witch spell work manipulation is here this literally 117 just came out um and it's on the timestamp. this literally just came out for scorpio's read Someone could be into dark magic, manipulation, spell work, kitchen witch, okay? It could just be dark thoughts, negative, pessimistic, okay? The letter J is significant. Aries energy can be significant, okay? Someone could have piercings and tattoos, all right? Let's see. For Pisces, we have understanding. Someone may want to have an understanding, okay? There could have been some type of misunderstanding. I don't know or someone wants to explain themselves when it comes to some type of spell work that they try to do. Okay, we have friend here. This could be a friend. Okay, we have anxious. This person could be anxious, stressed, possibly about you finding out about them doing dark magic or being a kitchen witch or doing some type of manipulation. Whatever spell work that they did is being exposed, okay? You may need to do a cleanse, Pisces. Okay, the letter B can be significant. You may also receive some type of surprise. Okay, something unexpectedly may happen. Okay, I just seen Aquarius. The letter A can be significant. You're holding on to the past. Okay, someone is holding on to the past. Either you are or someone in your energy. Could be a friend holding on to the past. We have your light irritates their demons. Your light irritates this person's demons. Okay, this person could have tried to do spell work on you because you're light. You could be a light worker. This came out literally for Scorpio's read. You could be a Scorpio cross watching because you've seen Pisces in the read. This could be someone of your past that you were holding on to. It could be a friend, whoever this is. Okay, they could have been doing spell work against you because your light irritates this person's demons. Their spell work could be getting exposed. Baby, these nails. <laughs> Try not to break a nail. Try to get this open. There we go. There you go, baby. All right, on the top of the deck, false belief. I swear to God, this just came out of Scorpio's read, y'all. Either there's a Pisces that's into dark magic. Scorpio could be a Scorpio watching or Pisces. Something about Scorpio energy is significant. But somebody's a false believer, a fake, a fake spiritualist or a religious person. Okay, and whoever this is, they're not sorry. And they're not going to apologize. Even if they do work against you, they're not sorry. They're not going to apologize because your light irritates this person's demons. They want darkness to, to cloud you. That's what I'm hearing. Air energy can be significant. Clouds, air can be significant. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I did say Aquarius. Creating a blockage. Whoever this is, because you irritate their demons, they're trying to create a blockage for you. The letter U can be significant. Okay, Aquarius, at the top of the deck is significant. Y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Or that could be a mutual energy between you and a Scorpio. Okay, spell work, candle magic. This is someone who's into spell work and candle magic. I can't make this shit up, y'all. This is crazy. This is coming out again for y'all. And I just say that everything before this transition. It's whoever this is, they're resistant to change. This is someone who doesn't want to change. If they're used to using dark magic or having dark thoughts or using manipulation, this is someone who doesn't want to change. 
two, two, two energy. Something is balancing out. The letter G is significant. Someone can be light skinned, okay? Someone also could be disrespectful and mean. This could be someone you're pulling your energy back from, okay? Someone is trying to spiritually attack someone. This came out of Scorpio Read 2. Someone's trying to spiritually attack someone. Aquarius energy. Oh my God, this Aquarius don't want to go nowhere. Aquarius was heavy in Scorpio's Read 2. Whoever this Aquarius is, they're spiritually attacking you or someone in your energy, okay? This is someone who's keeping secrets. They're dishonest. They're a liar, okay? And you are rare. You're one of a kind. That could be why someone's trying to spiritually attack you. For Pisces? Ooh, we. You also have a secret admirer. We have apartment. You can live in an apartment or you have um, someone that you live close to. Okay, you can live in an apartment. This person can live in an apartment. Someone close to you. Okay, could be secretly admiring you. We got didn't see your worth. Dishonest and I'm a liar is at the top of the deck. Death is behind there. Scorpio energy is definitely significant with the death. There could be an end to someone lying. Someone may not be able to lie anymore about something. Let's see, for Pisces, this is really weird. For Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Y'all could be spending time in solitude to yourself, okay? If somebody was trying to lie on you about something, I just seen Scorpio, somebody was trying to lie on you about something, you spending time in solitude is like proving someone's words to be wrong, okay? We got deadbeat father or mother. This could be somebody who as a deadbeat father or mother, they didn't see your worth. They tried to spiritually attack you. This is someone disrespectful and mean. You irritate their light. I mean, your light irritates their demons. This is someone who's into dark magic, okay? And you work for the most high. You could be a tarot reader, a hierophant, a spirit guide, an earth angel. This literally came out for Scorpio, read y'all. Except light worker came out for Scorpio. But you could work Pisces. You could work for the most high as well. You could be a tarot reader, a hierophant, a spirit guy, earth angel. For some, I really feel like a cross watcher of Scorpio could be watching this. Rush. Someone's tried to rush something with you. School, education. School, educate yourself. Some of y'all could be going back to school. Someone could have rushed and, and went to school. Maybe someone needed to educate themselves. Someone may, may have needed to educate themselves when it came to you. This could be someone who tried to rush a situation with you. This is someone who didn't see your worth. They didn't see the fact that you were working with the most high. That's because this person was under spiritual attack by someone who light, your light irritates their demons. This is someone who's of the dark. Okay. You're going to reconnect, reconcile with someone. Okay. You are an inspiration. So you inspire someone, a secret admirer, and you're going to reconcile with this person. Okay, wrist chakra energy is significant for you, Pisces. Virgo energy is significant. Let's see, for Pisces, we got honest, you can trust my word. There's someone who's saying that they're, that they're being honest with you and you can trust this person's word. This could be someone who rushed things with you. They didn't see your worth. And that's because this is someone who was under spiritual attack. This person may need to do a cleanse. They could be dealing with somebody's disrespect with me. Okay, we got um, choosing healing. You or this person can be choosing healing. Okay, and this one says someone is out for revenge. Someone is out for revenge, Pisces. This is a karmic. A karmic who's into dark magic. This is someone whose spell work got exposed. And they don't care. They're not going to apologize about it either. We got children are involved. Okay. They don't love you. They're just using you. Okay. Leo energy is significant. Gemini energy is significant. Somebody's giving y'all fake love. Okay. We will be we will be together soon. Someone saying that you guys will be together soon. Okay, this is someone who's letting go of the old hurt. They're releasing. Someone is letting go of old hurt. They're releasing. Remember, somebody was holding on to the past. So whoever was holding on to the past, they could have been holding on to somebody very dark or dark energy within themselves. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. But this is someone who's letting go of that hurt. They're releasing. So possibly someone who was giving them fake love, who was using them, who doesn't love them. We have throwing rocks while hiding their hand. Somebody has been throwing rocks while hiding their hand. And this is someone in their ego. Again, this is a karmic. Somebody's in a karmic relationship with somebody. Again, this had came out for Scorpio. I got an energy of someone dealing with a karmic, a karmic twin flame or a karmic soulmate 
and whoever the twin flame is or the soulmate is that isn't karmic, they're under some type of love spell or they're under a spiritual check. Somebody's been doing uh, work on this person. This is somebody in their ego. For some, it could be a friend. Huh? I seen the ten of pentacles in reverse and the nine of and the nine of cups in reverse. Okay. So somebody's very selfish, greedy, materialistic. Okay. Someone feels like they made a mistake. They de they're dealing with somebody who's blocking their abundance. Now this can be family. Yes, that's the food truck. Somebody could be dealing with meddling family. It's my truck. Okay. These could be people who want someone to stall, be indecisive when it comes to a connection. Okay, baby. Yeah, definitely have something to do with family. Someone will stall in their happiness. There could be family. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups upright. Somebody may see this as like their happiness is someone who sees like they can have fulfillment somewhere happiness but they're dealing with somebody who's greedy who's emotionally greedy and in scorpio we had love spell like someone wants someone to be so consumed and in love with them that they can't pay attention or focus on anything else okay this is someone trying to slow someone up i can't make this shit up y'all this is crazy pisces this is crazy let's see for pisces energy at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of swords aquarius energy Aquarius is heavy in y'all energy, Pisces. This is someone sneaky and deceptive, a liar and a cheat, someone evil-minded with this Knight of Swords. This is a player, okay? Someone careless, reckless. They take reckless actions and they're dishonest about the actions that they take, okay? This is someone who um, wants you to be left out in the cold. This could be someone who's feeling left out in the cold. Someone could be dealing with financial issues, health issues, sexual health issues. Someone could be working on this. Someone could be lying about cheating, this could be someone who's having sex with someone who is in bad health. Someone could have um, caught an STD. Hold on one second, Pisces. All right, Pisces. I stopped it at 1211. 1212 can also be significant. Okay, but somebody who's dishonest, sneaky, and a liar, they've been gossiping, spreading rumors about you. This person also has been watching you. Okay, Pisces. Let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot card. But you changing your focus, your direction. And choosing healing, I feel like, is what's saving you from whatever this karmic situation is. You're going to get a change of perspective, or someone's going to get a change of perspective, okay? There could be some stagnation here. Someone can be waiting, okay? Something can be coming in the distance horizon. Now, some of, this could be someone traveling towards you, okay? Or a manifestation can be coming in in the near future, but I feel like you're going to get a change of perspective about something, which is going to change your direction, your focus, so let's see for Pisces we have the Empress in reverse that's Libra and Taurus energy someone's dealing with um, someone who can't create now this can be someone who's unbearing someone who has their tubes tied um, if they are a mother they could be really lazy they could be codependent they could be someone who's dependent on others Okay, this could be someone who lacks inspiration. Let's see. What is this spirit? We have the magician card. And whoever this is, this is the Empress in reverse. This is someone who's fallen, I feel like. Someone who's been doing magic on someone. Manipulating someone to cause confusion. Aquarius energy. Virgo Gemini energy. This is someone who's in a win at all cost energy. This could be someone who plays mind games, manipulation mind games. This could be a mother, a baby's mother, a mother figure. Whoever this is, this is someone who is a mental manipulator. They could be a narc. Because I'm hearing that as well. Someone could be a narc or dealing with a narcissist. You could be dealing with someone who's a mental manipulator, but they're dealing with a narc. Okay. This came out for Scorpio's read, I believe, last week. So you might want to check out Scorpio's read. Okay. You could be tied to someone who's tied to a baby's mother, a mother figure, or something like that who's very manipulative. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. You're releasing. You're walking away from somebody who tried to play mind games on you, who tried to manipulate you. Now, this could be a masculine and feminine energy. They could have distorted feminine energy. Take it how it resonates. Or this could be a distorted feminine. This is what it is. It's a distorted feminine. Whether they're a masculine or a feminine or a male. A male or a female. But this is someone who 
operates in um, a distorted feminine energy. This is someone who's a mental manipulator. A lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. This is a self saboteur. You're releasing this person. Whoever this is, they're receiving karma. Sagittarius energy. You walking away from this person, they're now experiencing misfortune. Bad luck. All of the energy that they tried, the magic that they tried to project onto you is being returned to cinder. Okay, let's see. We have the Four of Wands. This could be a, a karmic twin flame. I literally just read this for Scorpio, just in a different way. Somebody's walking away from a karmic twin flame. Someone could have walked away or released their actual twin flame because they needed to create stability in their life. Somebody could have been dealing with a karmic twin flame while dealing with their actual twin flame. It could have brought karma into a twin flame dynamic. So one of these twin flames walked away because someone was playing mind games. Causing confusion. We have the Eight of Swords. This is someone who's is stuck in spiritual jail. This person could be an actual jail, Gemini energy. But this is someone who's entrapped by low vibrational thoughts. This is someone who thinks manipulatively. So, like they think of ways to be, uh, they think of ways to be manipulative, to play mind games. This is someone who's in a self-imposed mental imprisonment. They overthink on how they can play mind games. Like they think a lot on how they can play mind games on someone to distort the way someone views something. They want someone to be blind. They want someone to be blind. They don't want someone to see something clearly, possibly about the mind games that they play or um, the mind games that they were playing when it comes to a twin flame union. Someone could have been pretending or um, trying to come off as a twin flame. We have the page of swords. Whoever this is, they're watching you. This is someone watching you confused. This is someone who wanted to have you in spiritual jail, but you walking away from this person, this false twin flame, has them now dealing with karma. We have the page of pentacles here. This is someone who had some type of plot or plan to breadcrumb somebody, and they were using magic and stalking someone to cause confusion. This is someone who's codependent. Again, somebody who's codependent. Whoever this baby mama, mother figure, this could be someone younger than you or just someone who's young-minded. This is someone who's small-minded, small-minded, close-minded. This is someone who's financially set back. They depend on others to take care of them. This one, this is someone who lacks faith. And we had that in Scorpio Reads too. Someone doesn't believe in the most high. They have to plot and plan and manipulate to get what it is that they want, to get someone to take care of them. This is someone who's a mental manipulator. They stalk, they stalk someone too. They stalk you or they stalk this twin flame. This is someone who someone has a family with, is family. Someone could be codependent on, on family or codependent on others. And these are people who are stabbing them in the back, betraying them. Someone wants to ruin someone's life as well. This is a codependent energy. There's a heavy Gemini here, Gemini and Virgo. There's a codependent energy who's talking about you, betraying you. They in their head have doubts and fears. They're trying to sabotage the connection. Someone may learn this, that someone's very codependent on someone. And they're trying to betray you, ruin you, plot on you to prevent someone from walking away. So you could have walked away. We have the temperance card. That's because you're an earth angel. You could have been alchemizing this energy, alchemizing this betrayal energy. Okay, you're definitely somebody's twin flame. Y'all are definitely going through some type of twin flame union or you're releasing, you're walking away from a twin flame union. This could have been someone who was still tied to a karmic twin flame. This person could have been confused about if you were the real twin flame or if this person was the real twin flame, they could be learning that they went towards the person who's the false twin flame, somebody who's codependent on them or just codependent on other energies. Someone could also like to play mind games to cause betrayals. Like they like to see things fall apart. This is someone who likes to see things fall apart. They cause confusion, they stop, they watch, they see, they be in a head. This is someone who is like meditating on the bad things that they want for somebody to happen to somebody. This is somebody who thinks a lot, really dark. And we had disrespectful and mean. This is somebody who is not nice. They're not nice at all. They might try to come off as nice, they may try to come off as nurturing because they're a mother. This is giving me like bad parenting too. Then we have that. We had, I could have sworn I pulled that out for y'all. We had um, deadbeat baby mama or baby daddy. 
This is a deadbeat baby mama or baby daddy. They breadcrumb other people to take care of them. It's like a child. They're a child. They're small-minded. They're, they're stuck in a child energy. Even if they have kids, even if they have stability, even if they have a home, this is someone who's a child. They're small-minded. They're a kid themselves. I don't give a fuck how. It's, this is like someone who is older, a mature woman, someone who comes off older, but they're immature mentally. Like their growth, their spiritual growth, their mental growth, their all that is just, they're stuck. With the Eight of Swords, they're stuck in this Page of Swords and this Page of Pentacles energy. And they use this energy to manipulate others and confuse others to make them look like they're a mature woman when they're really codependent on other people. And this is someone who will talk shit, betray others, so or have others betray people who are good in their life so that they can be able to, to benefit breadcrumb off of these people. This is really weird energy. And you are an earth angel. This person tried to stab you in the back possibly tried to make you seem like you were a codependent or you were breadcrumbing or you was using magic to breadcrumb somebody and this is because this person was stalking you whatever they whatever they were stalking and watching you doing they were trying to use this information to talk shit to betray you in some type of way with the sun card coming out this is about to get exposed this is being illuminated to someone leo energy someone's going to see the truth I feel like you chose peace and positivity. You chose to change your direction, your focus. You, cho you chose to heal. You chose to release. You chose to walk away. And someone's stuck with a really manipulative energy. A queen of wands. I came, look, y'all, this came out of Scorpio. <laughs> this came out of Scorpio. Could be a Leo or a Sag. Heavy Leo and Sag energy. This is someone who wanted to look attractive. They wanted to look as if they are of the light. And you are. You are of the light. You're an earth angel. You're on a twin flame journey. But there's somebody who wanted to pretend. It's kind of giving me like copycat energy. They wanted to seem like they were you. If you're a good mother, they wanted to seem like they were a good mother. If you're, st if you're stable, they wanted to seem like they were stable. If you... um are committed to your gifts community committed to staying positive um you give off earth angel like this person wanted to have those type of vibes like they wanted to imitate those vibes but now they're receiving karma this is someone who's stuck in spiritual jail because they really were betraying a twin flame union this is someone who got in or tried to get in between a twin flame union this is being exposed you could be exposing this this could be getting illuminated Let's see. When it comes to a king of swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and somebody's manipulative. This is a masculine who's in feminine energy. They're in distorted feminine energy. Somebody very malicious. This is someone who's into uh, who's, who's into dark magic. They use their words. They use their thoughts. They use mind games as a way to play with people. That's why they're receiving karma. And they could have either this person, either this masculine. It's really giving me this masculine is into playing mind games. They're a player. They play mind games. But whoever they were dealing with, it's an older feminine. Even though it's an older feminine, this bitch mind is as small as a peanut. It's small. It's, she don't got no. She ain't got no brain. It's a bad parent. She's a bad parent. He's a bad parent. They both bad parents. I'm getting dead. Be father and mother. If this is your baby daddy. Okay, he don't take care of his kids. If it ain't your baby daddy, he don't take care of his kids. Okay. Then he got a baby mama who don't take care of the kids either. She codependent. She raising kids is going to become codependent on other people's light as well. Somebody's codependent on somebody's energy. This person tried to imitate, emulate. Like, they tried to pretend to be like you. Like, have the energy that you have. This is somebody who wanted to embody you. They could be jealous or envious because they can't embody this same energy. What's within comes out. What is what's out is within. Like you can't imitate something that's not already that's within you. This is someone who's trying to make it seem like they're a positive, peaceful person, but they're not. They're disrespectful and mean. They're even a bad individual. They're a bad parent. I don't like that. This person can have two or three kids or... An earth sign child, an air sign child. Okay, I'm seeing Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius. 
But I feel like y'all are walking away from somebody who brought possibly some misfortune into your life. This was someone who was going to create instability in your life if you didn't walk away from them. This is someone who is stuck in their, they're stuck in their own thoughts. They're entrapped in their own mind in prison. Somebody could be going to jail or in actual jail. I don't know. But somebody's going to learn this, that someone plays mind games. That they're, bread, they're a breadcrumb energy. Not only do they breadcrumb and they're codependent on lies and deceit and um you know betraying people in order to get what it is they want out of a situation but they have a baby mama or uh, or whatever that's manipulative like this too this could be a distorted masculine and feminine energy or feminine uh, a distorted feminine and masculine energy either way this is someone who's very manipulative and they manipulate people for it looks like finances for energy for energy for finances for stability at the bottom of the deck, we have the lover's card, Gemini energy. This could be a lover of yours, ex-lover of yours for some, someone who wanted to create an imbalancement, but you close this cycle out with the world card. We have Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo energy. You're closing out this um, cycle with this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. This is someone who's selfish. They're greedy, materialistic. This is also someone who's realizing they made a mistake. This could be someone very stubborn and you had to reject this person or you will be. You will be rejecting this person because whoever this is, they tried to stall. Okay, this was someone who was indecisive when it came to a relationship, when it came to having romantic feelings for you. Now this is being laid to rest. A relationship can be ending with a queen of cups, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A relationship with you could be ending because this is someone who wanted to stall, be indecisive when it came to their feelings for you. This is someone who is emotionally selfish. They feel like you have to work for their love. They're going to create intentional drama, imbalancements in your life. Karma. They're going to bring you karma, cause you conflict, betray you, all that stuff to basically make you... I don't know. This is a distorted way of... I don't know. It's like someone wants you to prove prove your love to them. King and Queen of Cups. I can't make it up. This is someone who saying that they love you, but I feel like whatever this is, or someone been or someone has been meditating on the love, they could be realizing that they have romantic feelings for you. This could be someone who's styling a relationship with someone else who they're about to reject. They could be realizing they're dealing with somebody emotionally selfish. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, could be a baby's father, father figure. Okay, or towards Virgo Capricorn. This person could be closing out a cycle with someone who tried to create an imbalancement for them. This could be a lover, loved one, someone who they worked and collabed with with the Three of Pentacles to cause a burden. Capricorn and Sagittarius energy to, put, to have someone feeling way down, burdened with a lot of responsibilities. Someone also was guilt tripping someone. I'm hearing that too. Someone was trying to guilt trip someone. Okay, and with the Chariot card, I feel like someone changed their direction, their focus. But someone feels stuck. Someone feels stuck, stagnant in a situation that's not going anywhere. And it has them stressed. Nine of swords with the um, Gemini energy. It has them stressed, anxious. Especially when it comes to these burdens that someone tried to put on someone. Because now they have to deal with the weight. So you could have been carrying the weight of someone else. With the ten of wands and the ten of swords out here. You could have been carrying the weight on top of this person trying to talk shit about you. They could have tried to say you were a bad parent. You didn't have stability that you were confusing, that you had, you know, mental issues, that somebody's learning that it's really this person. This was someone projecting all their insecurities onto you. I think I said that for Pisces too. This is someone who's projecting all their insecurities onto you. They wanted you to seem like you were what they are. That's why they stress because someone's learning this with the horrific card. The divine is exposing someone. Okay, someone who's in their ego. And we hear you're in your ego. Someone's in their ego. This is someone who's high, throwing rocks and hiding their hands. Now they're learning a lesson. The divine is teaching this person a lesson. A king of wands. Aries Leo Sash is a soulmate. A twin flame, y'all. This is someone who was invested in something that they were doing in secret. They were doing in the dark. I don't know what they were doing in the dark. What they were doing in secret. They were working and collabing with people who are codependent on them or that they're codependent on. And these are people who want to sabotage your stability to either have you codependent on them or have the, or a way for them to be codependent on you. Either way, you walking away was the best thing that you could ever do. I, that came out for Scorpio. Y'all definitely make sure that y'all check out Scorpio's read. Because, yeah, someone's receiving karma for causing conflict, putting someone in competition. Someone was trying to raise spiritual warfare. We got spiritual attack here. Somebody was trying to raise spiritual warfare against someone. 
trying to stall, have this person indecisive about what direction to go in. Someone wanted someone to be indecisive about who to go towards. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be a healer. Somebody who's very healing. Someone was supposed to choose healing. And this person could have rushed the situation with you because they didn't see your worth. They were tied to somebody very dark. Someone who light, I mean, who your light was irritating their demons. Something about your light, something about their light. Maybe they feel like you dimmed their light with you coming in, uh, coming around, being around. Maybe that's why they wanted to betray you, stab you in the back, because this is someone who felt like the attention wasn't on them anymore. Like when you come in the room, everybody loves you. You're attractive. Everybody loves you. You're peaceful. You're positive. People look at you as that, as a peaceful, positive individual. They see you as someone who doesn't like a lack direction. Like you have great focus. You're focused. You have drive. You're driven. Okay. And someone wanted someone to perceive you differently. They wanted you to, they wanted someone to see love differently. They wanted someone to have a distorted view of what love is. This is someone who wanted someone to be obsessively in love with them. Like they wanted this person to recognize them, give them attention. This is why this person is stressed because whoever this is could be choosing healing. They could be realizing this person is uh, um, is a karmic, that they have them under spiritual attack. Someone could be grieving, sad, disappointed about an outcome. Maybe this person didn't see their worth. When they were with you, maybe they didn't see their worth and they had to go with somebody and you're of the light. If you're of the light and you're illuminated and uplifting them and you illuminated things to them and you're uplifting them and encourage them, you 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 shining lights on their shadows it could have irritated their their demons too so they went towards someone who basically will feed their demons but i feel like they got with someone even darker than they thought they were if somebody was a little dark you know they didn't want to choose healing they wanted to be in that fast life lifestyle where they do things hidden be sneaky and deceptive like they're sad about that now because whatever somebody's definitely raising heavy spiritual warfare on somebody somebody could be in their emotions heavy Okay, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone wanted to get in somebody's head. So y'all need to definitely use your discernment, trust your intuition about someone that y'all need to leave out in the cold. Someone also could be mentally in lack. With the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, a heavy Aquarius energy. Aquarius, Capricorn energy. Someone is in a lack mindset. They really are. This is someone who is projecting lack onto you, onto someone you're tied to. But you soul searching, I feel like is helping you. You choosing healing is helping you to move away from whatever this is. Someone may ghost this person. They could be realizing that this person is trying to slow them up. That they have um, methodical methods. I usually don't even use that word. That word is on the card. Methodical. Yeah, methodical. That, um, I'm going to say that word is on there and I barely ever use it because I just go by what I channel, but that actually what I just channel, methodical. I got to Google that. See what, it's like old ways of thinking, evil ways of thinking. I don't know. Somebody definitely does have like old evil ways of thinking. Trust your intuition with the high priestess Pisces. Trust your intuition, especially when it comes to somebody who's in their ego. Somebody can be stuck in between 3333 three, three, three on a timestamp. Someone can be stuck between their higher self and their ego. Someone needs to choose whether to choose to do their shadow work. Someone needs to do their shadow work. In order to see clearly, they need to do their shadow work. This is someone who needs to invest in doing their shadow work. Someone may end up, their shadows may be getting exposed. Something may be getting exposed or illuminated to get someone to work on their shadow work so that they can learn the difference between their lower self and their higher self or their ego it's not even giving me lower self because if it was lower self then the devil card would be here i feel like this is someone who needs to heal the ego or they're in the process of healing the ego which means they could be healing their confidence okay this could have been someone who lacked confidence okay this is someone who needs to choose listening to their higher self and not their ego they could have a bruised ego and that's why they're experiencing misfortune but i feel like whoever this is you were destined to meet this person they can change things around in their life if they choose to do their shadow work and, and trust their intuition start this new beginning take their leap of faith and make change that's what they have to do because whoever this is they're under some type of illusion whether this is they're being delusional or someone's creating illusions around them okay but that is the energy reading for Pisces.